Hey, hi! Welcome back to the series of functional safety sessions. I am Dota Krishna Hema, your functional safety expert. Today's topic is an introduction to software safety or ISO 26262 part 6. Let us get into the details of it. What are the objectives of ISO 26262 part 6 or the fun software safety? is like to achieve all safety and non-safety uh, software requirements and uh, the next thing is like we need to select the suitable tool which is required for the uh, project that is like the complete environment setup for uh, the software development like uh, the suitable ID tool selection, the suitable requirement uh, tool selection or the static analysis tool selection or uh, the verification and validation uh, activities related tool selection and uh, the tools which are required for the assessments and even the modification the entire tool selection or the environment setup need to be identified and to be implemented in this one and the next thing is like to review and assess the requirements of software in hardware software interface specification as per hardware software interface specification we might have derived a few of the software requirements so we need to review those requirements which are uh, uh, already documented in hs spec and we need to review them and we need to assess them uh, in this part as well so the next thing is like uh, we need to construct a software architecture and uh, we need to define a detailed design and we need to uh, code the software as per the software safety requirements and uh, this can this need to be analyzed and verified face to face and uh, to ensure every activity is planned and documented properly in and around this phase faults in software or software reliability so till now we have come up with the faults in hardware and we have derived some hardware met hardware fault related metrics and uh, we have come up with the safety mechanisms also because hardware degrades with time so due to wear and tear or you know if uh, a fault in one hardware results in hardware hardware two or more hardware falls or you know even uh, the next hardware is going not going to work so this is how the entire fault structure used to be there uh, or hardware reliability used to be there but in case of software there is no wear and tear used to be and uh, because of this reason it does not degrade with the time so all software faults are systematic faults a few software faults and their causes are listed here like uh, incorrect requirements or wrong requirements or misunderstanding of requirements or uh, miscommunication of requirements errors in uh, design errors in coding insufficient verification and validation activities or reuse of code and uh, outsourcing like with uh, if you outsource the project then you need to have a proper acceptance criteria which is set for your suppliers in addition with the introduction activity like i would also like to cover the project initiation or software project initiation that is clause 5 so during the initiation phase what all we need to ensure on is the listed below is qualified software tools so this qualified software tool or tool qualification uh, is done as per the parts part 8 so I have made a video on top of it like you can refer to my uh, previous videos and uh, the next thing is guidelines on application of tools guidelines on application of methods and software safety plan or software safety management plan software verification plan so in software safety plan itself like these all things will be documented and a software verification plan in addition to software safety plan and we will have a guidelines for software coding like mistra c in case of c language if you are using in your embedded project in case of model based development for auto code generation a guidelines for us for software coding uh, is required that is mistra c and uh, 
uh, a part of it like you need to have a guidelines on software modeling style guidelines like mishra ac series you need to have both both the documents you need to maintain separately software project planning as per iso 26262 so plan all software safety activities and software development activities in software safety plan okay ensure all tasks methods and work products are aligned with each other define this software life cycle so what exact life cycle are you going to implement v model or are you going to implement uh, agile or agile scrum model so in case you are using any agile methods like you need to ensure that you are doing a proper tailoring according to part 2 of functional safety and the next thing is configuration management of the software like including calibration data selection selecting appropriate tools and methods uh, guidelines for coding modeling style guidelines and uh, programming uh, language uh, for all the programming languages uh, applicable uh, so, and uh, the next thing is checking alignment to iso standards that means with respect to 26262 standards and ensuring um uh, suitability of of software safety functions topics to be covered by modeling and coding guidelines this uh, plus plus is highly recommended plus is recommended uh, so one a is enforcement of low complexity this is highly recommended in a b c d this is a common practice even uh, for a spice projects also and use of language subsets like uh, if uh, for example it's like if we use uh, the common name for local variable and uh, the global variable so this is a very common thing like uh, it is highly recommended in a b c d things which impose uh, unhandled runtime errors and uh, enforcement of strong typing is highly recommended in case of uh, a b c d Uh, so use of defensive implementation techniques a sample is like divided by zero error to be avoided while we are uh, while we code so and the next thing is uh, use of established design principles uh, use of unambiguous graphical representation and use of style guides in case of model based development use of naming conventions the naming conventions are different from project to project so we need to ensure on the usage of naming conventions and concurrency aspects concurrency is not only recommend not only uh, applicable for the multi core uh, execution environment so it is applicable for uh, the in every uh, all sorts of environment So here is a summary of clause five, that is the project software project initiation. So the output for product for this is like documentation of the software development environment, which in A Spice we commonly term it as strategy document, which involves uh, uh, the complete. How do you plan the do plan uh, uh, a project? Uh, your SDLCs. or you know your tools or the infrastructure requirement or uh, everything will be there in as a part of your strategy document right how will you do it is is called called as and the initiation is done in parallel with sdp that is a software development plan or uh, semp that is systems engineering management plan of safety management plan or a safety plan So hope you got this concept if you like this concept click on the like button if you want for the more automotive videos subscribe to my channel thank you